In this video, we will show you how to assemble your Greenworks Pro Pole Saw. This guide can be followed for all 60 volt and 80 volt pole saw models. Be advised, your unit may look slightly different. However, these instructions still apply. Warning, this video is not a substitute for reading the operator manual. For more detailed instructions and safety warnings, consult the operator manual provided. Let's get started. You will need a flathead screwdriver. Unpacking. Cut the tape and open the box. Remove the packing material. Carefully lift the pole saw components out of the box and set them on a level surface. Inspect the unit and its parts to confirm that no damage has occurred. Keep the box and packing material until you have operated the product. Assembling the poles. Depending on the length necessary, you can either use the standard length or insert the middle extension pole. Align the arrow on the pole saw head with the arrow on either the middle extension pole or the power head. Push the poles together. Secure the poles by threading the plastic coupler onto the middle connection. If the head or middle extension needs to be removed, simply loosen the coupler and pull the poles apart. Adjusting the chain tension. Always wear gloves when working with the bar and chain. When properly tensioned, the chain should be snapped tight. This means when you pull the chain from the bottom of the bar, it should snap back into position. If the chain sags, it is too loose. The clearance between the bar and the chain when pulled should be no more than a few millimeters. If the chain cannot be freely rotated by hand, it's too tight. Loosen the chain cover by turning the chain cover knob counterclockwise. Turn the chain tension screw behind the bar and chain clockwise to increase the chain tension. Turn the chain tension screw counterclockwise to decrease the chain tension. When the chain is at the correct tension, retighten the chain cover knob. Be advised, new chains stretch. Be sure to check the tension often and tighten as needed. Adding bar and chain oil. Before each use, the unit requires oil to be added. Loosen and remove the cap from the oil tank. Put the oil into the tank using a funnel. Monitor the amount of oil added by looking at the oil indicator. During first use, users should only fill the reservoir to roughly half full and check periodically to see if it needs to be refilled. Over time, you will become familiar with the amount of oil required for each job. Tighten the oil cap when you're done. It's a good idea to drain any excess oil after each use to avoid oil runoff. Attaching the shoulder strap. Your unit may have included a shoulder strap. Attach the clip to the carrying ring on the pole. Always wear the proper safety gear when operating your chainsaw. This includes head protection, eye protection, hearing protection, chainsaw chaps or pants, and suitable footwear. Before starting your pole saw, the power source must be connected. Insert the battery by lining up the grooves of the battery with the ridges in the compartment. Slide the battery into the compartment until it locks in place with a click. Know the controls. 
The lockout lever is embedded in the trigger. It must be pushed forward before pressing the trigger. The trigger is underneath the handle. Put the shoulder strap on. Adjust the length of the strap to a comfortable position. Hold the pole saw firmly with one hand on the rear handle and the other hand supporting the pole. Both your thumbs and fingers should always surround the handles. Always keep both feet firmly positioned. If your saw has a blade cover, ensure that it is removed before starting. Push the lockout lever forward to allow the trigger to be depressed. Pull the trigger. The unit will stay on as long as the trigger is squeezed. To stop the unit, release the trigger. Before starting a job, be sure to plan. Saws are dangerous tools when used incorrectly, and it is important to not only know your next operating steps, but to have an escape plan in case of emergency. Use the correct saw for the task at hand. Using the wrong tool for a job can result in accidental injury or damage to the unit. Ensure that you keep the saw at full power through the entire cut. Never stand directly under the branch that you are cutting. Remove long, heavy branches in stages, cutting off small sections to reduce the impact of any falling debris. Cut lower branches first, so debris can fall more easily and not get stuck, causing a future hazard. After use, disconnect the power source. Due to the gravity-fed auto oiling system, it is normal for unused oil to seep from the saw when not in use. To prevent seepage, we suggest emptying the oil tank after each use, then running the unit for one minute. When storing the saw, loosen the cap and, if applicable, lift the tab to prevent pressure building in the oil tank. To avoid emptying the tank, only add the amount of oil that you think will be needed and top up as necessary during use. Wipe the saw with a clean cloth after use to keep it free of sawdust, dirt, and oil. Examine the machine for damaged, missing, or loose parts, such as screws, nuts, bolts, and knobs. Be sure to replace and or tighten all necessary parts prior to your next use. When not in use, pole saws should be stored indoors in a dry, locked location out of the reach of children. Before putting your pole saw away for the season, we recommend thoroughly cleaning the unit with a damp cloth and wiping dry. To learn more about this product, including how to charge the batteries, operation, and general maintenance, visit our YouTube channel. Properly maintained, your Greenworks pole saw will provide you with years of great service. If you have any difficulties or need replacement parts, contact us at greenworkstools.com.